so the next thing we will do is let's just drag this player and paste it or drop it inside the highlight tree and let's just rename this and right here we will name this as player sprite and now let's just create a empty game object and we will name this as player and we can just simply add the player sprite inside this player game object so now select the player game object and as you can see this uh, player game object is our main parent object in here we can add our the components such as scripts or rigid body 2d so now let's just uh, resize our player object so we will change it to 0 0.5 and then we will add a rigid body so right here search for rigid body 2d so this rigid body 2d will add this game object under the physics components for example as you can see right here the gravity scale will be 0 because we want the game object to fly so change the gravity scale to 0 and then open this constraints and right here take the z rotation so that our player will not spin in the air so after this open up the scripts folder and in here we will create a new csr script by the name of player and now let's just open this inside the visual studio so right here we will use another function as well which is the fixed update and the difference between the update and the fixed update is that the update function called once per frame for example in here we can set the timer or for the detection of inputs and the fixed update called once per physics frame for example right here we can add the rigid body so now right here at the top we will create a public float by the name of player speed then the next one will be a private and it will be a rigid body 2d and we will name it as rb then the next one will be the player direction it will be a private and it will be a vector 2 and now right here we will say rb is equals to get component let me resize this okay so get component then in here we will say rigid body 2d and then we will add a round brackets then a semicolon after this right here we will create a float variable by the name of direction y and then we will say input dot get access raw and what this will do if the user is pressing the upward arrow then we will move the player upwards and if we press the down arrow then we will move the player down and also we can do that by the WNS button as well so now for this we will type on get access raw and then in here we will say vertical after this the player direction will be equals to new then we will say vector 2 and in here the x will be 0 and then the y will be the direction y and then we will type dot normalized so this dot normalized will ensure that our move the player move is consistent so if the user click on the upward arrow the direction y will be equals to 1 and if the user click on the downward arrow then the direction y will be equals to minus 1 and i told you we are doing this inside the update function because the reduction of inputs is usually done inside the update function so after this right here in the fixed update we will say rb dot velocity and this will be equals to new vector 2 the 0 
coordinate will be 0 and the y will be the player direction dot y and then we will multiply it by the player speed so now we can just simply save this script and get back to unity now right here we will attach this player script over player game object so just drag and drop this right here now as you can see this is the player speed so let us set the player speed to 11 now let us just test it so click on the play button now as you can see our player is moving upwards and downwards so our player controller is now working